Thank you, Brittany, so much for joining us. Can you just please tell us, uh, let's begin with the journey of how you heard about Hungry Generation and how you came. I heard about Hungry Generation through my friend Paula. Um, she and I have been friends for a long time, and one day I woke up and I realized that I didn't like the life I was living, and I reached out to her and asked her if I can come to church with her one day, and I came um, that next Sunday with her. Wow, come on. <laughs> And you said that you didn't like the life that you were living. Can you describe a little bit of what was happening to your life? I was really depressed. I was angry. I would wake up and dread going to work to start my day. And I was just, I was just angry with everyone. I took it out on my family and on my friends. And it was just, it was bad. And can you tell us a little bit about your surrounding, the friendships that you were having? How was that affecting you? Um, I liked my friends as people, as how they were, but I didn't like how the things they were doing. They were drinking a lot, smoking, and because I wanted to keep their friendships, I would do the same thing, and I didn't really like it. I just did it to keep them as friends and to impress them. And when you came and you took that step and reached out to somebody that was coming to Hungry Generation, you came that first service. What was it like for you? What happened there? It was different. I wasn't used to it, um, but through, like, even through the worship songs, I was kind of getting a little emotional. I was tearing up, um, and I ended up giving my life to Christ that same day. And you can see a picture of her there We're, uh, at the at the altar. Amen. Now, can you tell us a little bit after? Now, when did this happen? This happened at the beginning of this year. So great way to start the year. Amen. Now, you said that um, you were dealing with frustration, anger, and just a lot of depression. Now, now that you gave your life to Christ, can you tell us how, how is your life now? It's been really good. I got baptized um, this month, and I, I don't wake up angry. I wake up, and I'm excited to see what my day is going to be like. I'm happy. I'm not depressed, and I am just feeling great. Come on. And you, since you've been coming since the beginning of the year, there was also a financial breakthrough. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, I live on my own with a roommate, and I was struggling financially to pay for rent. And I last Sunday, I only had, um, I didn't have a lot. I just had some money, and I decided to donate it. And I was freaking out because I was like, okay, how am I going to pay for gas if I run out? What if I have to buy something that I need and I don't have it? Um, and that next day at work, the company I work for, um, we made more than what we thought we were going to. Um, and they decided to give back to all of the associates that work for the company. So everyone got um, a raise. They were giving um, us a $100 bonus for this, our next paycheck. And then I was trying to um, plan a ticket, a flight to Texas, and I didn't know how I was gonna pay for it. And my mom decided to pay for it for me. And I didn't have any money this week, and so she gave me money to watch my brother while they went out of town. And so. Come on. So money was coming from all over, amen. Now, this is incredible. So this has been about a three-month journey, and you already see how God has just been blessing you and so much joy in you. Now, what would you advise for someone that is on the edge of saying, I want to give my life to Christ, but I'm afraid, and they have all of these reasons behind them. What would you advise them when it comes to salvation and just giving their life to Christ? Um, just to reach out to someone in the church and give yourself a chance to get to know God because it makes your life 10 times better. And um, just don't be afraid. Whatever's holding you back, just let it go because what was holding me back was my friends. And I still have some that I was hanging out with that know that I don't do anything anymore. And they appreciate it. They, But then you will lose some who will be like, okay, well, now you're changed. Like, I don't want to be friends with you. But it's all right. You'll make new friends here, and it's great. Amen. And then you'll bring those people to Jesus Christ, too. Amen? <laughs> Thank you so much. Give her a hand of applause. Thank you for watching this content. I hope this was a blessing to you. If you're like me and you like to click on things, click on this, subscribe to our channel, and the content will come to you every time we post it. And remember, the best is yet to come.